is up, Jobs? What are you guys uh, doing today? How's everybody's uh, week going? How are you guys enjoying WWE 2K19? I hope you are having. A, I hope you guys are having a great week, a great day, a great hour. I hope this minute right now, where my voice is coming through your ears into your brain, and you are somehow figuring out exactly what I'm saying. The human brain is amazing. Let's talk about that specifically. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <clears throat> so the the champion. Uh, the, the, the number one contender for main event has been settled in the last episode. Um, I was talking about how there was somebody I added. It was Batista. <clears throat> Batista was the person, uh, if you watch the main event episode, Batista was the person that I had forgotten that I had moved from main event to uh, to Velocity here. So we're going to do things a little differently. Um, I was going through the matches, and I, I was like, man, some of these matches are really good. Ty Dillinger versus Daniel Bryan, that's great. Uh, Rusev and Christian for the European title, you got to assume, right? Because they're, they're the champions. Oh, they're both champions. So champion versus champion here. That's amazing. Oh, I forgot to change the... Uh, I forgot to change this. Can I go back, actually? Hold on. Wait, I got to go to edit champion. That's what I... I did the main event one. We'll get rid of that for now. We'll just get rid of that. Um, let's do this. This should be pretty easy. Where's the European? It's all the way at the bottom, huh? So we'll add that, and then uh, no, we want to keep Christian. And then for this, we'll do Money in the Bank. I just forgot to add the Velocity case to uh, to the show there. All right, so, uh, so we're all set up for that. Uh, but champion versus champion. So I'm going through the matches, and I, I get to the end here. I thought this was a great match, too. Um... Shelton Benjamin versus Shinsuke, that's a great match. And then I got to this match and I thought, oh my god, that is something I need to see. So I don't wanna I don't wanna get rid of the main event to do like a battle royal like we did on main event. So I came up with something else. I figure Roman is the champion. This is going to be kind of like SmackDown Live, where you gotta earn your opportunity and everybody gets a shot, right? So uh we've got four weeks. Right? Can I go back to the calendar? So we've got four weeks, four shows to go before the pay-per-view, which you guys will find out soon enough what it is. Um and I'm thinking, when I go into universe mode, right, the matches are already set. If the person that's facing Roman Reigns that week can defeat him, then they get a spot in the match at the pay-per-view for the title facing Roman. So, you know, if three people beat Roman uh, throughout the next four weeks, um, then it'll be a fatal four-way for the championship. If three people can beat him, it'll be, or two people can beat him, it'll be a triple threat. If only one person beats him, it'll be a one-on-one. -on -one. If nobody beats him, then I'm not quite sure what we're going to do, but uh, we'll figure it out when that comes. If it's Pete Dunn versus Roman Reigns again again next week, we'll just we'll just swap in somebody else uh, to to give them a chance, and I'll just basically go uh, go based off of overalls, you know, like you know. So when you go to no 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 that's not what I meant. So when you go to like you know the screen and look at who's who's your best superstar overall. So Daniel Bryan would get the shot, and then Seth Rollins, and then Batista. I might throw in like an Aleister Black or a Finn Balor or something, but. Uh, but yeah, so that's how we're going to do it. Everybody that beats Roman gets a gets a shot at the title at the pay-per-view. We're going to simulate uh, these first, what, one, two, three, four, five matches. And then we will be doing uh, Pete Dunn versus Roman Reigns uh, for a shot at the WWE Championship. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Velocity. The matches are set. Let's go ahead. Let's simulate. We're going to do it randomly. Like we've, oh, you can, oh, you, there's a button for it. I didn't even realize that. Random winner, Daniel Bryan beating oh this is a rivalry match now huh ty dillinger and daniel bryan all right i like it i'm okay with it we might do like uh this is the number one contendership for for the for the intercontinental title or something this is what i like right here man these two guys going at it both champions christian taking the first match up between the two not sure if there'll be another let's go ahead random andrade cien almas with zelina vega taking the win there shinsuke nakamura versus shelton benjamin and shinsuke Taking the win, and here we go. A potential rivalry between Roman Reigns and Pete Dunne. I would love to watch these two go at it in real life. We got the next best thing, though. We've got it in a video game. If Pete Dunne can defeat Roman Reigns, he will be inserted into the championship match at the next pay-per-view. Can he get the job done, or will Roman Reigns sec secure an empty spot? In the or will Roman Reigns... Who's going to win this one? Let's find out. <laughs> Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, at Velocity. Here comes the big dog, Roman Reigns, the Universal Champion. Man, that ring looks uh, looking pretty good. I'm liking the ring. There he is, man. Looking at the, looking up at his name, the Roman Empire. I guess that's not his name, but his name is up there. You could, you could argue, right? All 
right, JoJo finally spitting the words out. It's, it takes her a while to get there. How long is it going to take him to get to the ring, do you think? Does it always take him this long? This might be why people hate Roman Reigns. Because I'm starting to get a little angry that it's taken him so long to get to the... Like, he's still on the ramp. Like, what took him so long to even get off the stage, man? Like, come on. Is he off the ramp now? He's on the floor. He's on the floor. He's going to look around. Yeah, Roman. Look at... You've been here before, probably. You've done this many a time. There's the stair. You found him. Okay, great. That must be what he was looking for. He was looking for the for the stairs. That's got to be it. Is he going to get in the ring or he's going to... No, he's going to put his fists in the air. Watch this. Double fists. Ooh, oh, he didn't do the double fists. There it is. Oh, I forgot he has to flex first. Get the muscles showing. There he is. The WWE champion. Your champion, my champion, all of our champions. Roman Reigns. All right, let's get let's get to Pete Dunne, baby. This is this is one of the people that I'm most excited for here on Velocity. Pete Dunne may be a young man. Pete Young, Pete Young, Pete Dunne. Let's get the announcement. 200, five pounds. Pete Dunne, baby. He may be smaller than Roman Reigns. He is definitely smaller than Roman Reigns. He is the bruiser weight, though. He's very good at what he does. He is the former United Kingdom champion. I'm not going to say that he is the current because he doesn't have the title with him in this universe mode. But uh, And he's a, he's, a, he's a dirty man. Dirty fighter. He's going to do what it takes to get the job done. But he's never faced a man quite like Roman Reigns. He's faced some good wrestlers, though. He's faced the likes of Johnny Gargano and Adam Cole and... Tyler Bate, but he has never faced a man like Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns is cool, calm, and collected. Calculated. The four C's is what Roman Reigns is. Cool, calm, collected. Calculated. Roman Reigns has been to the mountaintop before. Roman Reigns knows what it feels like to win this kind of match. He knows what it takes to win this kind of match. Pete Dunne, he's been a champion too. But not on this day. Again with the lights. I don't quite understand it must be because I have the, I'm gonna try and change the lights because they are just like way too bright I think it's because I've got white lights up at the top I think I'm gonna have to switch them to black I guess or if like you can just turn them off turn the opacity down a bit but uh, this was a if this was a battle royale this would be uh Pete Dunn would be out of the match he would have just lost if this ends in a in a DQ, I get, I don't know what to do if it ends in a DQ or a countout. I guess if Pete Dunne wins via countout or disqualification, then he wins, right? I guess that's what you got to do. The big dog getting riled up. Is he yelling at that kid in the front row? He's already he's already angry at a fan. Roman Reigns is not a good guy, I would assume, if he's already yelling at one of the fans. We are at a five count in this match. This match is really going to end this quickly? Pete Dunne. Bouncing the head off the pole. Hits it again. If I'm Pete Dunn, I'm getting into the ring right now. And I'm letting Roman just, just take the count out. Okay. Or you pull him right back in. Pete Dunn wants to win this thing via pinfall or submission. He wants to win it inside the ring. As he kicks Roman Reigns in the in the back of the shin, the back of the leg there. Oh, my God. Vicious. Vicious moves here from Pete Dunn. You gotta love it. Oh, and now Roman. Roman really wants to fight on the outside, doesn't he? Oh, okay. There we go. Roman Reigns. Big clothesline there. So far, so good for Pete Dunne. I'm gonna say it right now. I think Pete Dunne has started this match the exact way that he needed to in order to in order to come out with the victory, right? You gotta put some doubt in the back of Roman Reigns' head. Roman Reigns is facing a young kid he's never faced before um, with, with less experience than himself, right? So you gotta assume that Roman Reigns is coming into this match very confident, feeling like he's gonna win no matter what. Pete Dunne on the opposite end of that, very young, very excited. He's gotta calm his nerves down maybe a little bit here in the main event and, uh, and, and, just, and just focus on getting the job done. And I think he's done that so far and that's definitely got to put some doubt in Roman Reigns' mind which is probably why he's taunting everybody so much right when you start to get nervous you get a little you know you get a little excited and you want people to know that you look confident but uh, you know maybe maybe he's not so confident I think Pete Dunne has gotten into the head of Roman Reigns here and uh, the more Pete Dunne can can get done the more offense Pete Dunne can get in the worse it's going to be for Roman Reigns not only physically but mentally 
maybe even emotionally. Maybe Roman Reigns is going to go home and cry. Maybe Roman Reigns is, is going to lose every single week, and then he's just going to lose the title. He's not even going to show up to the pay-per-view because he's going to be so upset. There's a Superman punch, though. This thing could be over as quickly as that. One, two, and just like that. Pete Dunne has lost the match. Pete Dunne will not be going to the pay-per-view. Roman Reigns looking very excited here. He's going to leave the ring. Oh, wait a second. That is The Miz. The Miz beating down Pete Dunne now. Roman Reigns getting back into the ring. He's going to take out The Miz here. Takes The Miz out of the ring. And now we get a stare off between Pete Dunne and Roman Reigns. Pete Dunne doesn't look too pleased about this. He looks like maybe he didn't need the help. Wow. Well, all right. <laughs> I guess we're going to have to This is now a rivalry. We're going to have to we're going to have to play this one out again maybe next week. See what happens. That was a quick match though, guys. I apologize for the quick one. Main event was much longer, but uh, we've we've got it set so far. Roman Reigns versus nobody at the pay-per-view. No number one contender as of yet. Pete Dunne put up, uh, I would say, a pretty decent fight. Um, but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this short episode of Universe Mode. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at JobberNation. This has been your boy, Jobber Nation. Bye!